Thousands of holidaymakers have been forced to take shelter on beaches in southern NSW in Victoria as catastrophic fires ripped through coastal towns on New Year's Eve, killing three people and leaving five others missing. Homes, shops, and schools were raised in a continuing crisis, with 16 emergency fire warnings remaining in place across both states and hundreds of fires still burning. The Australian Defence Force was called in on Tuesday to assist in the national emergency. With naval vessels, planes and helicopters to be deployed on evacuation missions and to ferry essential supplies to the fire zones, an estimated 4,000 people who had sought refuge on the foreshore at Malakuta in Victoria's East remained stranded on Tuesday night. With fire officers telling them it was too dangerous to return to their homes, they had arrived on the beach on Monday. All fleeing a fast-moving fire closing in on the town, father and son Robert and Patrick Salway, 63 and 29, died near the fire-ravaged town of Cobargo on Monday evening while defending their farm at Wandella. Patrick's widow, Renee, said she was broken. I love you now, I love you still. I always have and I always will," she wrote. Property and stock damage across the two states was extensive, with NSW Rural Fire Service Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons saying it had been a truly awful day. We need to brace ourselves for a considerable number of properties, a considerable number of homes that are likely to have been damaged or destroyed, Mr. Fitzsimmons said. Patrick's widow, Renee, said she was broken. I love you now, I love you still. I always have and I always will," she wrote. Property and stock damage across the two states was extensive, with NSW Rural Fire Service Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons saying it had been a truly awful day. We need to brace ourselves for a considerable number of properties, a considerable number of homes that are likely to have been damaged or destroyed," Mr. Fitzsimmons said.